Hello everyone, I'm Ms. Khan, currently pursuing my bachelor's degree from Sri Venkateshwara College of Engineering in Computer Science, Cybersecurity. Today I'm going to present on the topic Hydraulics and Water Resources Engineering. So in today's video, we're going to learn about Hydraulics Engineering, Water Resources Engineering, the significance of Hydraulics and Water Resources Engineering, differences between them, some real-world examples, and the challenges faced by them. Hydraulics engineering. So what is hydraulics engineering? Hydraulics engineering is a branch of civil engineering that deals with the study and application of fluid mechanic principles to design, control, and manage water-related systems. It involves the analysis of water flow, distribution, and usage of various engineering purposes. Water resources engineering. Water resources engineering focuses on the sustainable management and development of water-related systems. It involves designing and implementing solutions for water supply, distribution, flood control, irrigation, and environmental protection. So the significance of hydraulics and water resources engineering is that they help us move and use water effectively. Hydraulics engineering makes sure water flows smoothly through pipes and machines, while water resources engineering manages water to meet our needs like clean drinking water and protecting us from floods. These fields are essential for a better and safer future with enough water for everyone. Let's see some differences between hydraulics engineering and water resources engineering. Hydraulics engineering focuses on the study of fluid mechanics and the behavior of fluids, particularly water, in closed systems like pipes and pumps. Whereas water resources engineering focuses on the management and sustainable utilization of water resources in natural environment, like rivers, lakes, and groundwater system. Hydraulics engineering is concerned with the design, analysis, and the operation of hydraulic system, used in various applications such as hydraulic machinery and systems in industrial settings. Whereas water resources engineering involves designing and implementing solutions for water supply, distribution, flood control, irrigation, and environmental protection. Let's see some real-world examples of hydraulics engineering. Hydraulic brakes in automotive industry. Hydraulic brakes are an important safety feature in cars, trucks, and motorcycles. When you press the brake pedal in your vehicle, it sends a special fluid called hydraulic fluid through a set of tubes to the brakes at each wheel. The hydraulic fluid makes the brakes squeeze together, just like when you press the brake pads on your bicycle. The squeezing action creates friction, which helps you slow down or stop the vehicle. Hydraulic brakes are used to transmit the pressure from your foot to the brakes directly. They are very reliable, they respond quickly. That's why they're used in modern vehicles to make sure that you can stop wherever and whenever you need to. Hydropower generation. Hydropower generation is another example of hydraulics engineering. It is a renewable energy source that utilizes the energy of flowing water to generate electricity. In hydropower plants, water from a reservoir or river is directed through hydraulic turbines. The force of the flowing water drives the turbines which are connected to the generator. That produces the electric power. Hydropower is a clean and sustainable energy option that contributes significantly to global electricity generation and helps reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Let's see some real world examples of water resources engineering. The first one is water supply and distribution system. Water resources engineering is used to create and manage the system that brings clean and safe drinking water to our cities and communities. Engineers in this field work on projects to make sure that we have steady supply of high quality water for our daily needs. They study where the water comes from, build treatment plants to clean the water, and create networks of pipes to deliver it to our homes and businesses. They also work to prevent water wastage and monitor the water's quality to make sure it meets safety standards. The second one is irrigation system. Water resources engineering is used to create effective irrigation system for farming. In many places where natural rainfall is not enough to grow crops optimally, irrigation becomes vital for agricultural productivity. Engineers design efficient irrigation systems that deliver water precisely when and where it's needed on the field. They use channels and pipelines to transport water from rivers, reservoirs, or groundwater sources to the farmlands. 
Moreover, they use technologies like drip irrigation and sprinkler system to minimize water waste and get the most out of the crops. The third one is flood control system. Water resources engineering is essential in reducing the damage caused by floods and managing rainwater in cities. Engineers design structures like flood walls, retention ponds to control excessive rainfall and prevent flooding. They also create storm water management systems with green infrastructure like rain gardens to collect and control rainwater, minimizing its impact on urban areas and preventing pollution. In short, water resources engineering helps protect cities from flood and efficiently manages storm water to keep our environment clean and safe. So here are some challenges faced in hydraulics engineering. Fluid dynamics complexity. Understanding and predicting the behavior of fluids in various systems can be complex. This makes it difficult for the engineers to design efficient and stable hydraulic systems. Sediment transport. Dealing with sediment transport in river, canals, and coastal areas is a significant challenge. Sediment deposition and erosion can impact the performance and the lifespan of hydraulic structures. Infrastructure maintenance. Hydraulic systems such as pumps, valves, and pipelines require regular maintenance and inspection to ensure their proper functioning. Maintenance can be costly and disruptive to systems operation. Here are some challenges faced in water resources engineering. Water scarcity. Increasing population growth, urbanization, and climate change lead to water scarcity in many regions. Managing water supply to meet the demands of various sectors becomes a major challenge. Water governance and policy. Effective water resources management requires well-defined policies, regulations, and governance structure. Balancing the interests of various stakeholders and resolving conflicts can be complex. Water quality. Ensuring the availability of safe and clean water is crucial for public health. Water pollution from agricultural runoff, industrial discharges, and improper waste disposal presents significant water quality challenges. Conclusion. Hydraulics and water resources engineering play a crucial role in tackling water-related challenges by providing innovative solutions for water supply, flood control, irrigation, and wastewater management. Through advanced design and analysis, these fields optimize water usage, conserve resources, and mitigate the impact of natural disasters, ensuring a sustainable and resilient water future for communities worldwide. Thanks for watching.